Hello everyone and welcome to the Alloy TV and today we're going to be showing you or you're going to be hearing our interview with Lando Norris that we took part in when we were invited to go down to the McLaren Technology Centre in January. Hope you all enjoy this video. Let us know what you think um, in the comments section down below and more videos are still to come so please join us for those in due course but for now I'll leave you with the interview. Right, sport. Um, very different question for you actually like in terms of we're just sort of interested in how realistic the sort of simulator sort of side of things are to actually you racing a, yeah. a car like just how closely linked is it? This it? one here or like my one at home? <laughs> well either if you like but preferably here at me. Um, it's hard to it gives you a good feeling um, in terms of you know how to drive the car a Formula 1 car but you miss some vital things such as g-force um, the fear of crashing the fear of speed um, all of those things are probably the two most important things in making a simulator feel like an actual car um, probably the fear of crashing is one of the biggest but um, in terms of like when you overlay the data we have on the simulator versus on track it looks virtually identical um, although not always like we still have to make tweaks on um, the simulator to uh, kind of correlate it from the sim to actually how it is in in real life um, but for me to kind of do a test on the sim um, and then go and do like Budapest in, um, in the middle of last year I already had an understanding of you know, break points um, when I'm able or when I have time to kind of change the road trees do different buttons and everything um, so it definitely helps in on that side of things but it doesn't help um, really going from like F2 into F1 or F3 into F1 um, it doesn't really give you the jump that uh, you feel when you're actually driving the car. I think that's just the the feels kind of crashing the g-force the speed um, You just don't witness that in, in a simulator. So it's sometimes hard to feel uh, how big the step up is from F3 to F1 To sort of see in how Max Verstappen has to ban arc on they've get like hit F1 running basically If you get to that stage if you've got to do a similar thing to really ignite your sort of the, the potential that is so apparent with everybody if you really got to go for it first season um well i go for every season so um yeah i think um you know i've done a few tests well two tests now um so i know what i'm kind of i'm able to do and where i need to be um i'm definitely not there yet but um maybe i can be fast over one lap um, but it's being able to do that every lap, um, every season, every race, um, and just continuing to have all that consistency, which someone like Fernando or um, Lewis does, or, or any kind of champion who's done it for for a few years. Um, so yeah, I could be good in like a qualifying run. Um, and then people say, oh, it's really good. But where the other guys are good is just having the consistency, doing it all the time. Um, and those are the things that I need to improve on, which sometimes only come with time. But uh, yeah, I need to try and figure out, figure out how to be on top of all of that quicker than everyone else who's done it. Uh, yeah, I guess those are the only things I can really do to try and make sure when I do hopefully get into Formula One that I'm on top of those things to then get in and just do the best I can and, and be fast basically yeah yeah this is quite a generic question if you like but um, have you ever had like a favourite F1 Grand Prix so you're like that was so good like uh, I think Baku this year yeah well, last year uh, last year don't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh Um, Baku, yeah, and probably well, I had to watch. Um, 
I can't remember what year it was. There's not many races I remember from when I was younger. But, um, uh, Nürburgring, when everyone spun off into turn one, and Vessel, uh, Lewis spun off as well, but he left his engine running kind of thing, and then a spiker was leading. <laughs> yeah. It's just one of the races I remember, so. Marcus Winkle. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I remember.